They're eating the cats. They're eating the pets of the people that live there. If you lose, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. The man said, if you lose, it's going to be a bloodbath. So I don't know how to manage them. I'm going to deport, export, and implode all out of hope there, whether they're not legal or not legal. Yeah. So they start out by saying all illegal immigrants must leave, you know. That is not the thing, you know. It's a racial thing. The kind of time I talk about shit whole country, he mentioned Africa, South America, Haiti, all of them people, they are black people and brown people. Yeah. It's not a matter of why you did illegal. You know, for them thinking, it's a white man country, and you know, poison the, the blood of the, 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 the blood of America. Not even remember, it's that them, the thief the land. Them thief the land from the Native American, them, and now they must have for them land. And when other people who come there, not by free will, but by force, by them, because them couldn't do the work over there. So them go to Africa for thief people and bring them and make them slaves. And then move the Native American them half of them land. And then decide to have for them land. And now they must say, look here, make America white again and stop with all the black, brown, and this and this and that. So it's not a matter of who they are legally. Because country right here. The people, they're not the place where they talk about them. Are eating. them they're legally and they work, legally and all them something there. Blessed love viewers and subscribers who are going, hope you are doing good, hope you are doing great. Now my people, I come across this video, my people, and I decide I have to share it with ones and ones to educate the mind, heart and soul. Yeah man, a very powerful one by Muta Baruka. And the title of this one is Muta Baruka and Rastafari Chum Kamala Harris. African and a lot more Yemen. So this one is very very powerful my people and once and once African people we need to watch these things because these things is what is going to elevate us from the spot that we are in. I want to say enough respect to the Virgin that actually get this interview out Yaman. Yeah, no respect to I never know TV Yaman. Yeah, great job my Virgin. All the credit go over to them so definitely go over there over them YouTube channel and go subscribe my people. Them post a lot of powerful thing to elevate black people and engulf in the movement Yaman. Yeah, so my people before we get into it you know it's a black power movement drop a like and subscribe share it to a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement. No my my people, let's take a walk. Check out what Muta Baraka has said. Share your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. My man, give thanks. Give thanks, Virgin. A serious thing. We give thanks for having you on. Um, have to remind the people, make sure you're getting your tickets there for Groundings with my brothers in Philadelphia. Muta Baraka will be there alongside Nuri Muhammad, Styles P, the Josh Smosh, Kwasi, Dr. Dorothy Holly, Lawrence Iger, Deborah Hines, and midwife Asasia um Mid Muda Baruka, we want to get right into it and the first question i have is so over the years since you've been coming on i never knew tv i've been getting a barrage of emails about different questions right and um one of the questions that's been very consistent even though you have spoken on it a lot of people still ask why do you believe rastafari has been so impactful across the world well across the world I was a, it's a reggae music and what the reggae music was saying. You know, I mean, people know about Rastafari in Europe and in other parts of the world because of the music. And the thing is that we do have a church, we do have a school, we do have nothing like that, but we have the word sound that is very powerful that reverberate all over the place because of what the artists, the Rastafari artists and Virgin have been saying in the music. So when people hear the music, they can identify with it. You know, the, the idea of love and down with oppression and get rid of certain, you know, neocolonialism and slavery. People can relate to that, no matter what they mean. So the music has played a great part in what we call it, globalizing the rest of our philosophy and opinions, you know. And uh, the question uh, for you now, like Doran, because I know you you toured immensely, but when you first went on the road, did it kind of throw you off that the Europeans were so in tune to the Rastafari message? You know, say when I did up on the road, it never stayed away there, you know, where in tune, you know. Because all the people in the Bible understand what we are saying. 
So, so it's not like now when people all are say, you know, the Jamaican language and them something there. Them days say, you go there and people just like the vibes. More vibes and are there. Them, 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 them eventually start to understand where I say. Yeah. So we like me, you know, when we used to say it's not good for saying a white man country too long. You see white people are jump up, but when them start understand what me had to know, them start to think. You know? And yeah, see yeah, away yeah. with the African them, I will for the African them. Never come on the English language that well when we start go. Mm -hmm. We are going from the break of the 70s to early 80s when the first album come out in 1981, 82. You know them days there. Uh, None of them artists are always here to now, never they were them a little pick me, you know, see. Yeah. So when we go there, it was a thing, it don't go like Burning Spear and Third World, Bob Marley, Peter Tash, you know, and them ones there. Uh, Linton as a poet, me as a poet. We live on the road. So it's not like, you know, them didn't understand fully. No, them understand what we are saying. And it means more to them now that them understand. Because they realize eh, them people who call themselves Rasta is really a fight against oppression and fight against slavery and colonialism. Yeah. And, and Buddha, you spoke about going to Africa. Was your first time going to Africa through the dub poetry or did you go just to go? No, man. First time I go to Africa, it's sure. They invite you down to do a festival. Me, Marcia Griffiths, and Judy Moat was the main act on the show. Which never, it, it was a disaster. You know, first of all, the man never gave the money when we are left. And when we reached New York, no, we, we say, man, we give the money when we reached New York. He still has a jumble, jumble, and master group is and do the turn back. So he have for me a title, a land title. Yeah. In a, in a place in a Jamaica named Cooper's Hill. Yeah. So I look on the title and say, let me go and hold on the title. So me and my band go down there. The problem is that when we reach down there, a place named Tafawa Balawa Square, where the show is supposed to keep. When we go there, it's a car. It's a car uh, expo used to go in there. And no certain thing no reach um, reach down there yet. Yeah. And the set that come from Washington. And what happened now is that they have a thing down in Nigeria and they're dashing where they give people money, they market money give them. And say, dash me a money now. Well, what we never did know is that him set, the, the promoter them set up with immigration and take out our ticket to go back to Jamaica and send for the, the sound system them to come. I don't know how them work at all, but I got them though. Yeah. And when the sound system comes, the show couldn't keep. So they will have to move on to a place named Ife, a place in a, in a far, whole heap of miles. So the show never do, and it created a whole heap of problem because we start to get vexed. And when we reach out, if we had drive long, you know, the bus, we we'll come out of the lobby, them say, no, 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 no hotel room, no, they left a book way, in a way. That time steel poles come down there now, steel poles come with me. Them say, no, no hotel, no, they're there. So we have to, it's a student, them, in you know, a university, did really put me up. Yeah. And we did a show, and really and truly, it was a serious show. Yeah. We'll be past students and things like that. And then, when we hear from them, they say, we'll put me in our stadium. And when we go to the stadium, a riot broke out in the part, and they am a three people them bad. So I run out, and I said, no, no, can't have beat the people them, so man. When I hear from the show, all of the people in the, in, in the stadium was family, was them family. Crazy. Well, like 200 people in a, in a big stadium. Yeah. What are them my family? Because the yeah. man who produced the show, he have three wives. One of them was a Jamaican woman, too. <laughs> and my brother, for, my brother for boxing down throughout it, when we realized that the man had killed away. And then now we don't have a ticket to come back to Jamaica. I was about to, so I was about to ask you. Eh? I, was about, I was about to ask you about the ticket situation to get back to Jamaica. After yeah, yeah, because when we, when we go back to uh, uh, Lagos, we don't have a ticket to go back to Jamaica. And steel poles, the whole of the steel poles, man, them catch malaria. Oh, man. 
And you know, eight hours difference. So anytime we feel like we can't call somebody at Jamaica, and make a night, and when we get up, they must sleep. When they must sleep, we get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was no So it become a national thing, say, uh, Jamaican artists stranded in Nigeria. Big, big, yeah. big, big thing. Anyway, about a month after, because that time it take me down there. I'm going to find out, I know, me know fella. I'm going to do a show with fella. Fine, you did a show with fella Gute? Yeah, man. Don't get oh, he, he gotta, <laughs> you got to give us that history then. And Sonia Cousin. Sonia Cousin didn't help out thing, but we were going to do a show with fella Gute. Because me and the band did it. Me and my band did it. Was Chinna so in the band at that time? That's the band when Chinna was with you? No, man. No, Chinna, man. Chinna never did with me. Oh. Me and, me and my band did it. And, the team get away because none of it on a ticket to come back. Steel Pulse now get malaria and them call England and them fly out and we just still down there. But me I enjoy myself still because I get to know certain things. We go to the market, yeah. we go to the Oba in a Bendel state. You know, we go to the place to go, go find out more about Nigeria and things. So. That was a ter it, 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 terrible, but we eventually come out. Yeah. Till all the holy parts that say, why they not going to Africa, right? Now? Because they might use me as, as a president for don't go to Africa. Yeah. But since that time until now, I go I, 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 I go to South Africa most the same time. I go to Ghana was a year time, I go to Ethiopia two times. Yeah. We go to Cote d'Ivoire about four times. We go, we, we go Ivory Coast, yeah, Cote d'Ivoire, we go Gambia, Senegal, Cameroon, Morocco, you know, I was still go. What's your uh, favorite country in Africa to visit? Well, I love South Africa, you know. Yeah. I love South Africa. Ghana more like Jamaica. Facts, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Facts. Ghana come like Jamaica, you know. Um, I got Ethiopia. I don't know if it's too like Ethiopia and all my people are going to Ethiopia. Yeah. You know, so, but South Africa, Ghana, where did South Africa you not know, come like you left the West? Yeah, I was, um, I went to Ghana for the first time in February. And once I landed, I called my wife and told her, look, just like Jamaica, if I had an airport, how the people at the airport, the whole yeah. vibe, the whole energy, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, serious thing. All right. Um, uh, a next question I have is that, You've interviewed a lot of people, right? <laughs> You've interviewed a lot of people. Um, for me personally, the one you did with More and More Plano is probably like my most favorite interview that I heard you do. Mm. Your personal, what was your personal most memorable interview you've ever done on your show? <laughs> well, I guess I'll really be interviewing it. Very difficult now to go. Or at least go. three. Not one, but no, I remember them, yeah. you know. But for say me most memorable, me remember them. Me remember, as I say, Plano, me remember, um, mm, Reagan's, you know, Reagan was a good interview, yeah. Me remember, um, well, I've read the most of people we interview at 30 years we had this thing, you know, <laughs> you know we, we interview so much people, yeah, you know. Yeah, man, we interview. I know people we interview, man. We can't remember the most memorable, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, then. And um, uh, another one I want to change the pace, though, right? How do you feel this election in America will impact Jamaica? Just like what it impact Jamaica now. No. Nah. With the whole heap of guns that come from America, coming to the island, and nobody not stem it. These, these people, these Trinidad. And, in, and, and Jamaica has the biggest crime rate in the Caribbean. And it affects St. Vincent, St. Lucia, and other Caribbean islands. We don't see the, the leaders of the so-called Caribbean states. I go to America and tell them, say, watch a man. This thing can't work so continuous. You know, it's not devastating the Caribbean. Only people are dead by these guns who are coming. They don't have the balls to go do that. No. You know, see, them, them don't have the guns to go do that because they're afraid. That is why, you know, them the America and France give them money for go to Haiti. Go fight against the Asian people them who want liberation from the, the French and the, 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 the American said we you know, see so I don't know if it's going to be you see a tree kind a tree side a kind of you know sure. tree side. 
it have the head, the tail, and it have the edge. And most of the time it now drop on the edge. So you have to go decide, say, boy, when you look and you say, it's a two headed dragon thing I reach way. They chop off one head at the same body. Yeah. So even though we might have a sympathetic thing towards Kamala, you know, because we see how Trump, we see live and living color, how Trump be. We are say, Kamala, they go to Africa go tell the people them say, right now, them for us, low with this homophobic thing. And they might help them with certain economic things. Most of the African leaders say, no, 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 we're not going to work with that. Yeah. So she'll have to leave Africa because none of them African leaders are not going to accept homosexuality because America will give them money. Okay. You understand? So that alone makes all my people get away. But in, in relationship to Trump now, I don't know that brother there. That brother there, I never see a brother tell lies so like, I mean, I'm not know, easy rasta. I'm not easy at all. You know, see, so we don't, we don't see that make no difference to Jamaica America relationship because it's just it's the same system, you know. Yeah. Changing the person don't make the system change. Yeah. See, because imagine now, which other democratic country you know has seven states decide who will be the president? Yeah. When you have 50 odd states of vote and three, how much million people have vote and it just boils up to seven. Seven states are going to decide that. That's not democratic. That means all the other people they move vote. Even if you get the majority, because in our idea, in how we see it go, it's the majority who get the majority win. In America, it's not the majority get who get win. It's who get the majority in the seven state them. You know, so we don't know that God have to do with that, but you know, welcome to America. Hey, did you see the um I'm pretty sure you heard about the news about the uh the false stories they were spreading about the Haitians in Ohio? If my seat, yeah. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> me have tune, me have me play a tune with it. <laughs> he said what? He said play somebody recorded a tune about it. Hey, look how much tune they with it, man. We not talk about reggae, you know. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then. Yeah, I man, man, oh, yeah, yeah. see that, man. They just say, all right, look at all that now. And it said that him apologize, the man in apologize, you know. Yeah. You see, if you ever lose the election, man, you better go dodge with the ball the way you have there, you know. Trust me, you know. I believe you make a man ever win in a Rasta. Yeah. And if him lose, sorry, if him lose, it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. The man say, if him lose, it's gonna be a bloodbath. So me don't know how to manage him. I'm gonna deport, export. And implode all of them up there, whether they're not legal or not legal. Yeah. Because they start out by saying all illegal immigrants must leave, you know. That is not the thing, you know. It's a racial thing. Because anytime I talk about shit whole country, it mentioned Africa, South America, Haiti. All of them people, they are black people and brown people. Yeah. It's not a matter of why you did illegal. You know, for them thinking, it's a white man country. And then I poison the, the blood of the, 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 the blood of America. Not even remember it's that them the thief the land. Them thief the land from the Native American, them and know them as they have for them land. And when other people who come there, not by free will, but by force, by them. Because them couldn't do the work over there. So them go to Africa for thief people and bring them and make them slave. And then move the Native American them half of them land. And then decide they have for them land. And now they must say, look here, make America white again and stop with all the black, brown, and this and this and that. So it's not a matter of who they are legally. Because country right here, the people they're not the place where they are where they're eating. Them they're legally and they work legally and all them something there. You know, see? So we don't know where I got. We don't know where I got. I watch it still. I watch it. And and um <coughs> What's the vibe still? I always want to ask you this too, Fire. Why you never move back to Africa? Move back to Africa? Yeah. I don't understand why I say move back. Or move to Africa. Why you never move to Africa to live? Because I enjoy the, boat, the best of both worlds. 
Me not an apocalyptic mad person, you know. We say, boy, we may have a drone and this and that and flood and earthquake and lightning. I go take the place, you know, because I go to Africa, I see some African do something that I can't believe, say, African do that. I see some leaders that sell out Africa in Africa, like that. I can't believe, say, I will look at all the Nelson Mandela now. The man, Nelson Mandela, five dance all of them come out of prison, I get Nobel Peace Prize with a man who did our prison people, them. Yeah. And then now, I come like Jesus to white people. While with the Mandela around the corner, then now, I fight the struggle, said me. I'm going to fear, said, boy. Them tell her, them tell her, I was say, boy, you can't deal with a woman there again. She's too, she too radical. You understand? Know we look past certain men in Africa, certain leaders. It, 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 they, they, them sell out Africa to white people, the French especially. You know see? So, it's nice when Rasta say repatriation, but I know into the biblical thing about you're going to live. You know, which part you're going to live worse than where you're there. Yeah. And the more that time I go to Africa and see my brethren and my sister and them down there, they might ask me for money. Or oh, they might ask me for money and I come from Babylon. Yeah. You know, see, I go to Ethiopia to write it and you know, all the people, the man, they might live. I see them all the words out of the day or so. So I have been on a biblical perspective because, say, you know, women of Africa. I have things in Africa where when, if I'm ready, I can't go there. Yeah. You know, see, but right now, I'm there so, I may not feel no way because I'm there so. You know, I don't feel no way to so say, why? I'm going to live my life in a terrible way that, you know, Years ago, when I just go to country for live, I'm going to some bush because I look a piece of land for left Kingston. And I rush them and they send show me a piece of land and over here I go start plant coconut tree. I say, I want to plant coconut tree, uh, Rasta. You know, say so you have five years coconut tree take the mill, you know. Nah. You think say so you have there five years from now. Hey, about forty years ago, you tell me that. And in pass way. <laughs> like a mobile there. You understand? So, I don't have the illusion and the confusion where they say, Ray, 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 and Lay, 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 Africa. I love Africa. You know, see, I love Africa and a whole heap of things make me not reach there yet. Yeah. I mean, even though I reach there still, but a whole heap of things make me not reach there. But, All right. I don't have still and feel like becoming there, so. Never dream. All right. You mentioned Winnie Mandela, right? I know you were able to spend a lot of time with her. Um, could, yeah, you share, well, how, how, could you share how brilliant she was? I don't think people understand the level of brilliance uh, she had. Well, I don't know about the brilliance. I know so she, she knows so well why I right now. Watch her. She had fight for your cars and then ANC water down the cars. And her husband come, come water it down too. Because when she go in her house and draw and take out the gun and bring come, she me say, when she is here going on, that she did a fight for. Yeah. With the ANC. I know that she did a fight for. As a matter of fact, she criticized Les Mandela. Wicked. You know, see, criticize him terrible. They have a whole heap of youth South Africa say, I know Les Mandela come out of prison, you know. Yeah. What if I you can believe that and them head? Say, I don't need some money like that because they can't listen to the man who go in there and come out back and be able to wear there. But when the Mandela, she's like the mother of Azania. I'm in love her because as a woman, she stand up and them ban her from going to a certain country. Yeah. She couldn't leave America, she couldn't leave South Africa because most of the country them say persona non grata. As a matter of fact, Nelson Mandela and Winnie Mandela was on the terrorist list of, of people who was terrorist by America. Can you believe that? And then now when he started to go in my door, he become like Jesus to them. Meanwhile, Winnie Mandela. You have to just stay African, just 
do a shadow. You know what I say? So when we talk about heroes, including Kwame Nkrumah, including Jomo Kenyatta, and all the others, and when named them, um, Lomumba, she right up there with them to me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. <clears throat> um, I'm putting out uh, the opportunity for anyone in the chat. If you have a question for Mudaruka, please put it there uh, while it's there. I'm going to put the link for Groundings with my brothers in the chat. Make sure you get your tickets. October 12th will be in Philadelphia. Mudaruka will be there. Nori Muhammad will be there. Styles P will be there. No amount of black people getting up moving. Um, all right, Muda. I did have another question while we're waiting, right? Um, bless the honor of Allah, Father Muda, God, and with you. <clears throat> uh, question I wanted to ask is that for those unaware, right? Can you speak about how much the Mau Mau influenced the Rastafari movement? Mama, I can't do it here. Can people sometimes better say the locks come from India? Yeah. Because you know how people name the, the sadhus. Nah. I don't know if I hear about them. Yeah, yeah. Indians there, burnt herb, vegetarian, all that. It was with St. Thomas. Well, I know all of them are vegetarian. Some of them eat people too, <laughs> but all of them. And all of them are vegetarian version. Trust me. You have sadhus sect. You have a sect of sadhus where you eat people. Yeah. You know, I mean, never kill them, I eat them. You know, I mean, them body. Them, oh, anyway, them lots. And to Jamaica, they have an influx of indentured laborers in Jamaica. And them smoke herbs in, a, in a, the, the saddles them. A whole heap of people, they tell you, say, at the Indian, them, the Rasta get there. They lack so much natural. It's the mama. Because if you look at the mama, them in the 1950s, all the man, the late version, they did lack. And I can't do I was told that. His teachers, these men, who did that follow Leonard Ogden and all them man there. It's the picture them see of these men who are fight against white supremacy in England. And it inspired them to start with really that. And luck is not something that is unique to Rasta. They say Sadhus. In Africa, you have some people in Ethiopia. Bata where them, I think a bata where them call them. Yeah. Them live by the mountains and them seriously, them come down in the city and all uh, the king them cost to. Yeah. And it's some locked man. The first time I saw one was in our national geography. Until I got Ethiopian I see them. But them did lock. They have ones in Nigeria. You know, we locked. But I can't do what I was told. It's a mama. Cause your price in the laps. And then man start read Bible. And then start talking about Samson and all them stuff there. And start talking about Nazarene vow. And say, so, you know, man must wear him lap until the day of him separation. You know, so him wait until the day that must cut the tab. I don't know about that. My lap is eternal. Until death do I part from it. You know, see, so one time them check because I have my locks of Bahamas. And the first time I ever did feel like say, well I'm after the truth, you know, I me mean, no say you can't go back, you know, but now what dead for this. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, but, Hold on. Yeah? Hold on, fire. They never threatened to cut off your hair in Jamaica before Bahamas. You know, this to me I say man. Go ahead. We, we are Bahamas. A bridging invite me long at Bahamas I was still long in a, a yard. And attack, and police come in and raid the place. And them carry go to jail and lock me up in there and lock up some other man in there. The other man they made it in there now. Apparently, a person from doing the part tell him say, him can't get them to Miami by way of Bahamas. I don't know if you listen to the people's court. You hear me talk about it. I know that you know that thing. Well, them take the boat and I go cross, them catch them in the Bahamas and lock them up. I mean, I just sail with them both. Seven all months. right, then, all right, then, all right, then, all right, then. <coughs> well, 
No, no, I get the story. Go ahead. I wasn't listening. I get the story. Yeah, so the man, the, the, this inspector man, you know, the cocaine with the inspector man, them have little shot thing. If he, he take the cane and lift up my lap, and I say, wait, let them allow you upon the plane with this. So I asked me, I said, well, all right, no. I got a compass point, you know, that time, a sewer is down there. Uh, Chris Black will have a sewer on a compass point. So I tell them, say, I don't get me about, which I really don't get me about. But then I don't get me comfortable. So I said, I'm not going to allow you to play. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, you see them lock up and say like me or some man a ball out. You see them come out and say them it's baller than yours. And one after one after the other, you know, I didn't come back. They made baller than yours now. You see when me and my time for come out, that me I tell you say no. I say, boy, I know you can't go back, you know, but no man now I can't put you off my lap. You know. So the man said, when me I stay, I say, I want hotel. He said, you are still one hotel. Show me, a, show me a passport. When I show him the man my passport, the man realized, said, I have an American visa in there. Yeah. I that saved me, you know? Yeah. Because I realized, say, oh, I don't know, idiot, brother, this, you know, because I know idiot, no get no. Idiot, that year, I don't get um, visa from America. Then go down at the hotel and go ask if my. Them, them the past would ask me and ask the, the people them, if somebody by them, my name has stayed and I said yes I'm checking a couple of days ago I saw my locks get saved you know I saw my locks I said watch I guess you mean know, me never come back to this country uh, never ever get to me go down there years after me go down there you know, go profound I mean, talk about it, because some people were there. They didn't hear about it, they didn't know, say, I threw me a talk. And, but it's not a place I me like. I go down there more than one time after that. You know, see? So, yeah, that, that is something else where the lax thing is it, it, a part. It, it, it's, the lax, my lax come like my foot, man. Yeah. And my foot can't grow back, but my lax can't grow back, but I take it like my foot. Yeah. Uh, so that's like go. All right. And um I, I wanted to ask this too, because they didn't really put a question in chat like that. But all right, I know far I used to get persecuted heavy, right? When you opened the bookstore, right? When you started performing, when you started touring, did they tone down in regards to the harassment or were they still harassing you? Harass who? You like like uh, as a Rasta Fire Bridging in Jamaica. They never harass me. Nobody never harassed me, man. Yeah. Me never, me never, me, me, me get a rush. Look, me get a rush the first time I walk in a movie here. The, 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 that's, well, that's, that's the time with the bucket. The time with the bucket, yes, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Me get a rush that way. Well, what happened is that me across the road and the man, the jeep, the jeep, the police jeep, they might come down for me and say, hey, you think so? Me say, Hey, you think I want them bad to man from long here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man jump out of the jeep to ride in a jam and put me say, wait, him say, wait till I reach on the police station. I saw the first time, but it's not like me, me get a me get a me go, me go to jail for ganja. But me never have a ganja. It's yeah. a car me a driving with a daughter and an ex-boyfriend. Yeah. I was just to the police them to drop the ganja upon the, the, the car floor. And when we come out there, I should say, I fear one of them. He said, nah, I'll take that because when we reach a, 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 a station, the whole away of us here now, our world. Yeah. So he lock up the whole away, including one politician, data. That one politician, a, a daughter of a politician, where they're not care with me, where they're pregnant. And I saw it go that it, it, it feared out. I'm going to jail again for ganja. And the brother tell him, say, I feel more. And they lock up my cell. And when we go out of the court, the brother who have the ganja and the thing say, guilty or not guilty, the brother said, I got me coming up to find out, sorry. And they say, guilty. And they charge my body. And we never got very done. But 
me not get, me not really get, me only say me get arrested by, you know. It's not like police stop me, but hey boy, come here, I say, if a man ever tell me that, just say, man, he might have to beat me. Yeah. Because some of them do ever who like me. Yeah. Most of them policemen, you know, them know who may be still now. Yeah. Mota Baruka, who, you know, stand up for this and stand up for that. So when them see me, they respect me, you know. Uh, respect me, say, well, yeah, Mota Baruka, I like what you have to say, and them things. You know? One time, I have speed from Ma Martin, you know, Martin, from Mali, I have speed, you know. Come over, reach out, and a policeman, we have my dogs. I have to stop. I went to stop him, come up on the side of the car and say, <coughs> What's your name? Mr. Muta Baroka. He said, You name Muta Baroka. Come out of the car and see your foot. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said, You can't imagine me have a shoes. <laughs> and I feel it. Because, Mr. Bridget, then I saw you, go, I saw you, I, you can't tell me by my face, sir. So you identify me by my foot. They're supposed to have a shoes, so. <laughs> him laugh and say, all right, go on, man. But really and truly, me not really get harassed by police. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, <clears throat> far we give thanks for the reason, man. I know you're busy. We give thanks you for coming on. Um, yeah, man, I'm busy. Come on, I'm going watch the Trump. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, Fire. Hold on, hold on. Someone did ask something, right? One question. Let's answer this before you leave. Um, people in the chat, I put the link there for the tickets there. Grounders, my brothers and sisters, October 12th. Muda Bruka will be there live on stage. Um, someone asked about if you want to answer Project 2025. What's your thoughts about Project 2025? I don't have no thoughts about it because I'm going to hear them as they were in there already. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a copy of it. I don't know. I, I can't talk about it because I don't. I just hear where the jail, where, where the Democrats are in there. And them call up how much people. I guess a VGRD, when the VD runs, is part of the process. I don't know nothing about it, brother. I can't, I can't discuss that. All right, that respect for that one. And last one, uh, books you would recommend people to read. Books you would recommend the people to read. opinions of Marcus Garvey, even more than the Bible. The philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. You have other books like We Came Before Columbus, Ivan Van Sertima. You have Ben O'Cannon. You have um, Check and Diab. That's so much book out there, Bridget. So enough book out there. But on the top of the list, philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. All right, then. So, Muda Bruka, it's an honor to have you on here because <laughs> spread your ear. A serious bridge of a comedian, same way, still. I was telling what? you, I said, I said, I said, I said, they made a serious man, but he's a comedian, same way, still. Comedic That's timing. Comedian. Yeah, comedic. You have the yeah. comedic timing in there. So we give thanks. We give All thanks right, for the work. Man. We give thanks for the example. We give thanks for the time. We give thanks for everyone streamed in. We're looking forward to seeing everyone with grounders at my brothers and sisters. We give thanks. All right. Give thanks, man. Bless you. Uh, man, that hold on for it. Well, my people, we have made it to the end. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comment section. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Share to a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement. Now, my people, catch you in the next one. Irie.